Omondi. Is this person present? Shadrach Omondi. Yeah, I need to know that you can hear me and uh, so that you can communicate. anaomba wakati ama nafasi ya kufanya uchunguzi kulingana na ule ujumbe ambao wanahitaji muda waweze kuchunguza vifaa ambavyo wako nazo ambavyo vimeletwa vimeletwa navyo waweze kuenda kwenye mtandao waangalie wachunguze yale mambo ambayo wanataka kuchunguza wa record statement yako alafu kisha baadaye atakuleta mahakama nitakukumbusha kuwa hujashtakiwa ukipati wakimali baada uchunguzi watarudi mahakamani wataniambia kama wamekataa sababu yoyote ya kushtaki 
ama hawana sababu ya kukushtaki na kuacha The reason of apprehending yeah, the sus the response. That in a, in a TikTok account, namely Emma, the grand pioneer, two four. One two zero five one. The police believe the respondent published a malicious video captioned Baba and Russia Utulete Bunduki. Baba and Russia. End of quote. Homosh Chakaba. You know, that is the allegation. The respondent being dragged before this court to be detained for 14 days. One. They have not linked from this TikTok account and the telephone account to that person. It is mere hot air. Number two, Your Honor, the warnings Rabba and Russia does not at all disclose an offense. Because going to Russia is not a restricted country for anybody to access. Anybody can go to Russia. Getting Utulete Bunduki has a million and one minutes. Bunduki Zamichez Sports. Bunduki for game hunting. Bunduki in the term of choice. It is it is not certain. You know also Baba. simply means father, which Bab the world has a trillion of fathers, who do you assign that specific term to? The police should do better than this. It is ambiguous, Your Honor, from that statement, the police move further and give it that many have imported their own explanation <coughs> that these guns are to go to state house. They have not said the source of state house. You know, you are being, the court is being put to a situation this person, respondent, was in the planning of overthrowing the lawfully elected.
President of the Republic of Kenya. <clears throat> Nowhere in this application are they investigating the offense of treason. Guns to State House will be overthrowing a lawful government. And that is the offense of treason. You know, it is absurd. After that, the state is telling you. This man who wants to overthrow the state, the state, the countries, or kill the head of state of this country, there must be a dis there must be a connection between this affidavit's disclosure and the offence they are investigating. They are investigating cybercrime and terrorism. So, Your Honor, on that limb, I urge the court to ignore that wild, emotional, sensational abundance <coughs> and look at that young man from the second limb. Court is being used to curtail its rights as provided for the political rights in Article 38 of the Constitution. Your Honor, the offense of terrorism, <coughs> I've had a chance to deal with everybody who appears to oppose government, up to and including Pastor Ezekiel. It is nowadays the new game the police have perfected. Arrest him. Say he's a terrorist. No evidence. This is the order of the police, the new operations. And we urge the courts to be very, very vigilant to protect such people from the state or from the police that has turned against its own citizens. <coughs> third, Your Honor, as I said, the, re the third reason they want to detain the respondent for 14 days is for them to do cybercrime forensic analysis. Your Honor, the facilities for such an analysis are domiciled in the DCI headquarters. That's where the laboratories are. He does not have access to those laboratories. Analysis can be done without him being present. Second facility, Your Honor, is a FARICOM or tele, uh, the, tele, uh, uh, the telephone uh, companies to provide data. He doesn't work there. He cannot influence at all. So, the reasons as to why 14 days are being sought is not reasonable. They could be telling us that they will need his presence when they are doing that. 
They have not. A miscellaneous application is purely for the purpose of investigation. It is not a pre-charge uh, pre sentence. Where the police are saying, arrest him, come to court, ask for 14 days, ask for 30 days, let us investigate. Your Honor, I urge the court to take judicial notice how many Kenyans and foreigners have been in that position. And the state comes after 14 days and says, we have no, we have no evidence to charge them. <coughs> Who compensates them? But Your Honor, the state doesn't give birth to children for it to feel the pain that young man is facing. But it will, it will never give birth to children, but it will eat people's children. The way that young man is now being dragged as a terrorist. Globally, everybody's photo is there. That is a terrorism. Your Honor, the offense of terrorism has a serious impact on the economy of this country. When the police bandy that title all over here, this is a terrorist suspect. This is a terrorist suspect. Are we going to attract tourists to this country? Are we destroying our own country? That this is an infested country with the terrorists roaming all over. <coughs> the police should assess what type of utterances they put in affidavits so that we do not destroy our own country <coughs> because we have an interest <coughs> to use any term. You know, if you look at paragraph 11, they are talking that they have a past convic conviction history of the respondent. They were able to go to the records, to the register, and get his past conviction history that has not been presented to you. But in paragraph 1 and 2, they are telling you he was arrested from Kisumu yesterday. They are not disclosing that he was put in the booth of a car, police car, all the way from Kisumu to Nairobi. And they have no time to record statements from him. But they are time to check his conviction record that selectively is not presented before, before this court. You know, that is a lie. You know, the state is telling you that they are other people. If he's released, he might tell his colleagues to run away. You know, if indeed they, he is, he is that a monster depicted in this Avidavid, the whole world knows through these media that he has been charged, so his friends are no longer available. He does not need to call them and inform them. <coughs> Yona, it's unfortunate I could have brought you the authorities that I will be relying on. In the celebrated case of uh, <coughs> Oscar Sudi Kipchuba, the, uh, I, 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 I will only just mention two principles because I don't have it. Because I do not have the opportunity to rebut on the. 
is the test that can the state and the court use the most least restrictive ways to get investigations proceed? That is removal of custodial. The reason why the police is saying he is likely to interfere is an admission by the police that they have failed to do their mandate. Kenyans pay the police to arrest anybody who will offend the law. Kenyans pay the police if he's released on cash bail and redefines the conditions of cash bail. The police have instruments and have money to track him and arrest him. <coughs> and that is why I say, Professor Ngugi says, we cannot accept that this is a banana country where the only way to deal with suspects is to lock them in. If that will be the trend that everybody who the police suspect should be locked in, Kenyans objected to that in Article 49 and provided for that there must be compelling reasons to detain your honor that man. There is no compelling reasons provided in this affidavit. And out of that failure by the state to provide compelling reasons, Your Honor, I make the following application that he be entered <coughs> into a favorable cash bill or bond terms and the court puts very stringent, if it is satisfied, very stringent terms of <coughs> that bill. If the terms are infringed, the law provides that the cash bill or bond shall be vacated and then he will be locked in until the time. You know, I'm impressed that the court did inform him that he is a mere suspect. He is not even an accused person. flowing from the fact that he's an innocent person entitled to rights of liberty that can only be constrained or limited if there is sufficient and compelling reasons that the state has failed to provide. So now we ask that the respondent be released on a cash bill of 100,000 shillings. with some sureties. He's ready and willing, if the court agrees with me and him, to go to the police station tomorrow. And he can report at the police station as many times as possible for the police to do their own investigations. This affidavit does not show your honor anywhere that he was escaping. This affidavit does not show anywhere that he was hiding. <coughs> this is a politician with a fixed abort with a family who has contested and he'll be here to contest. 
come 2027. So, there is no environment this person is a flight risk. There is no environment, Your Honor, here that he has tried to interfere with the investigation. There is no environment that he has failed to co cooperate with the police to do their own investigations. You want to allow the young man to take tear gas tomorrow? Because you are, the court is being used to block him from exercising his political rights. You know, I believe I have laid bare the reasons why <coughs> that person is there. And for the benefit of the young students I've seen here, this is how the fathers of the democracy of the Republic of Kenya started. And this is the agitation in 1952 when Mau Mau Veterans were dragged to court and given the term terrorists. Out of it we got independence. The constitutional dispensation we have today, many were dragged to court this way. It is a historic, it is a momentous epoch for this young man that one day the history books will record that he was fighting for the bigger good of this country. He was not fighting for his own selfish interests. He is a serious, serious patriot fighting for the police also. Remember, they don't have, they have never had a trade union to fight for their rights. These are the people fighting for the democracy of this Country. Your Honor, may you reject this application, put the respondent to terms, and the, the state has had quite a number of the sentiments we made. That's all, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
He was arrested and he is supposed to be arraigned in court within 24 hours. And since investigations are not complete, we pray for the 14 days so that the eye can complete investigations. Council has told this court that the suspect has a family and a fixed place of abode, but there is no guarantee that if he if, if released, he will ind he indeed shall be available to the said um, investigating officer at the said fixed place of abode, or shall he attend the DCI offices for the said investigations? From the evidence that has been uh, or for the submissions that have been made. The accused person, sorry, the suspect is a resident of Kisumu and not Nairobi. The investigations are being conducted in Nairobi. I will not grant 14 days as prayed. I will grant seven days, starting with the 10th day of July 2023, when he was placed in custody. The matter shall be mentioned thereafter for purposes of direction. The right to freedom is sacrosanct, but it is not absolute. We will come back after seven days for purposes of the matter of direction. Much of that, you know what you said, from the date of... Uh, from the date he was arrested. Was arrested. So your seven days, are you drunk from the date of arrest? Thank you. Tenth, that mm -hmm. means you know, we appear before you on... Uh, Mentioning the seventeenth. Much obliged. Right. Thank you so much. And council, not council and crew, and council. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. They are all my 